Molecules come in many different, very distinct shapes. We're going to look at four of those shapes today. The simplest shape is if you have a molecule made of two atoms. The atoms are arranged in a straight line. Therefore, it's called a linear molecule. Examples of linear molecules include H2, Cl2, and HCl. Notice that their atoms are arranged in a straight line. Most molecules that are made of three atoms have one central atom with two other atoms attached to that central atom. For example, H2O, where the oxygen is central and the two hydrogens are bonded off of it. Or H2S, hydrogen sulfide, where sulfur is the central atom and the two hydrogens are bonded off of it. The reason they're bonded off in this direction is because oxygen and sulfur have six valence electrons, and the only place the hydrogens can bond is on the corners, like this. Therefore, the molecule takes on a characteristic bent shape. Molecules made of four atoms generally will have a central atom with three other atoms of a different element coming off of it. This is nitrogen with three hydrogens bonded to it. You can see it better in the three-dimensional shot here, but the molecule is shaped somewhat like a pyramid, where you have nitrogen up here, and a hydrogen, a hydrogen, and over on that corner, another hydrogen. Therefore, the name of this particular shape is called pyramidal. And the final shape we'll do in here is when we have a molecule that makes a four-sided object. One side, the second side, third side, and fourth side. A four-sided object known as a tetrahedron. The shape is tetrahedral, otherwise known as four-sided. Carbon and four hydrogens makes up a tetrahedral shape. And those are the four different shapes you can have in a molecule. Now, there are several other shapes you have, but for this course, the scope of the course is limited to these four types. Unless you really want to get into trigonal bipyramidal.